What's happening, guys? Ken Kaplan Jr. down here on the third floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum. And we just rode the 1981 KTM 495. And now I know why they call it the Great White. 123 miles an hour, top speed in the test rides of the day. This was the fastest production motocross bike ever made at the time. Super special bike, guys. 1981, last year, the twin shock model. Marzacci forks up front, Fox shocks in the rear. Both have been completely rebuilt. This bike has had an outrageous amount of money put into it from the two previous owners and Kaplan Cycles uh, in-house here, completely went through the bike. This 1981 model, I'm pretty sure they, they uh, tuned them down for 82. This bike had a 14 to one compression head, had uh, twin spark plugs, so it was dual spark for better combustion, had the big Bing carburetor on the front, and this thing just absolutely hauled the mail. Started at the front of the bike, got brand new reproduction bars, new waffle grips, got the KTM AZI bar pad, rebuilt Marzacci forks. The wheel set is a brand new set of Excels laced to the original hubs. The magnesium KTM hubs, brakes have been adjusted. The fuel tank is a, a, a Serbies KTM branded, repainted, restored tank with new decals on it, new fuel petcock, new fuel lines, Rebuilt Bing carburetor. It's got a brand new twin air filter. New hardware on the intake track. Original 14 to one compression, super tight top end on this bike. The motor's been resealed. We have some receipts uh, for that. New transmission lube, transmission and clutch is on point. The clutch has also been replaced. Uh, out back, we have the original Fox factory shocks, not resprayed. Uh, these aren't reproduction stickers. These are the original Fox shocks that were just rebuilt by Nolens. We do have a receipt for that. Uh, new plastics all the way around. Look, some of the components on the bike, the original foot pegs are perfectly straight. Look at the swing arm. KTM's kind of known for, for their swing arms over the years, like even on the new bikes. They're, uh, this is just a work of art. Lightweight, strong, um, just super trick looking. The bike's gonna be detailed before it's parked in the museum where she's gonna be Way to go to the new owner. We, we had to get it dirty. I wanted you guys to hear the 495 bark, give it a little demonstration. I don't know if there's really any good content on YouTube on these things. Uh, exhaust, original uh, four, KTM 495 expansion chamber. There are some dents. Uh, there are some repairs uh, down bottom here. It's not perfect, but it's original. Uh, Larry actually just purchased this muffler, which is an exact reproduction of the original. Um, but this is a brand new muffler. Um, it's got that long shot exhaust that hangs way out the back uh, like they did from stock, just super cool looking. The frame's been powder coated as well. Probably less than three hours ride time on this frame off build. In-house at Kaplan Cycles, tested the spark, new NGK spark plug, fuel tank drain and flush, added fresh VP T2 non-ethanol fuel. That's pre-mixed 40 to one with a synthetic oil. Uh, new fuel lines, new carb vent hoses, clean and lubed twin air air filter, which Larry installed brand new. The gear oil check was fresh and clean. Larry j had just changed it. A brand new DID Gold 520 drive chain was installed and adjusted. It's brand new. Um, tech noted the Fox rear shocks were just rebuilt. We have the receipt from Nolan's again, Nolene's rather. Full nut and bolt check. Tire pressure set to 15 PSI. Um, tech's installed new black Ori hand grips. They installed the, the new backgrounds and number plates and then a full rotisserie detail, which she's gonna get again after that little test ride there. But it was hot water pressure washed, degreased, buffed, waxed and detailed, paint to the forks, exhaust, minor touch up on the frame. So there was a little bit of touch up that was needed locally, but uh, the, the frame was powder coated at some point. Test road, technician noted the bike is incredibly fast and she's ready to ride a race, ready to be taken out on the, the course for vintage racing with the original equipment, the bang, this thing runs killer just as you see it. And uh, it's a no excuses bike. Shay, come over here. I wanna show you some of the docks that are gonna be included. So on all of our bikes, we build um, parts and labor out at a retail. This is what we had invested into the bike after the bike was restored, just in test tune time, detail, uh, parts. So that all this wizard's notes, you're gonna get all this along with the document package. Invoice from Nolene's uh, Suspension Technologies Racing, $444.61 for the 
uh, Fox Rebuild Twin Shock Service. We have the receipt for the silencer, 100, uh, well, 250 or 202.50 euro. Bunch of receipts from Larry. He had Manchester Honda install a brand new rear tire on it. Uh, that was $163. Um, bunch of miscellaneous receipts for rubbers, parts, all kinds of stuff. Here's some receipts from uh, Buner's uh, Supply Co. out in Ohio. Uh, gas tank brackets, uh, washers. Uh, this is all stuff that, listen guys, Larry's a complete aficionado and he's looking at the parts fiche. He's talking with his sources and whatever wasn't right on this bike as far as componentry or hardware, he went and he ordered it and he spent a small fortune doing it. Um, new air boot. Um, some of this stuff I can't even read, but we have part numbers, rubber washers, stuff like that. Clutch gasket, kickstart O-ring. This is so that it wouldn't leak. Bushing, uh, a new chain guard, well, used chain guard. Let me see. More hardware. Let me see. Axle, not, I believe the rear axle was new. Bunch of receipts here. It goes further. Let me see. Chain guide, kickstart rubber. Some of that stuff was replaced. Receipt for the twin air filter that was just installed and more hardware. All this is gonna be included with the purchase of the, of the bike, including a copy of the uh, factory KTM owner's repair manual for the MC and GS uh, big bore models here. How cool is that? Not an original print, but it's all here. And this is the stuff that you, well, if you buy a brand new KTM group bike today, you're not going to get it. So they they did they did away with all the physical uh, printouts. We just became a gas gas dealer this year, so that's why we're wearing the gas gas livery. I felt it was uh, uh, prevalent as the KTM Group and gas gas are under the same tent now. Um, but there's a lot of pedigree with the brand, and uh, it starts as uh, early, well, a little bit earlier than this, but with this 81 KTM 495 was really when they kicked the program in high gear and uh, were, in my opinion, leap years ahead of the other manufacturers. In, eight, in 81, you know, Honda had the CR450. It was a good bike. You know, Cowie was, eh, uh, they didn't figure it out. This was the top dog in 1981. I think in the twin shock open class vintage racing, this is gonna be a, a tough one to deal with. Definitely gonna at least be getting all the hole shots, so. It is going up for sale this week on the auction block at Kaplan Cycles. There's only one. It's been a long time since we've had a KTM big board like this, let alone a twin shock model that's been completely uh, gone through with receipts. If you have any questions, call the shop line 860-454-7024. We can ship it anywhere in the States inexpensively. Message your zip code for a shipping quote. We do offer financing through Freedom Road Financial. Call. Ask for me, Ken Kaplan Jr. We can do a quick pre-app over the phone. It's a soft credit poll. They have good rates, and uh, Freedom Road is uh, best friends with KTM Group. They, they'll uh, love to give you a loan on this bike. Give us a call. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck bidding, and God bless America.